Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to show you a day in the life as a reporter. Wait, Connor, didn't you hear the news? Uh, I report the news. The news about TikTok. What's happening? U.S. Congress, the House just passed a bill that could potentially ban the app. The clock may soon be running out on TikTok. The U.S. House of Representatives passing a bill Wednesday that would prohibit TikTok from U.S. app stores unless the platform is divested from its China-linked parent company, ByteDance. Lawmakers' biggest concerns with the platform is national security and privacy. I have no problem uh, with continued dance videos or even political campaigning on TikTok so long as the ownership structure changes. Over the years, 10 News has covered multiple stories of people not only using the app to create content, but also going viral. I'm Dan Willingham. I'm a professor who studies human learning. UVA psychology professor Daniel Willingham gained a following after posting videos to help students with learning advice. I've got three really easy, really quick ways to improve your writing. The professor now has over 128,000 followers, but all could go away. The threat of a TikTok ban is there. So what is your kind of reaction to that as someone who does create videos on the platform? It's possible I'll continue to create videos and, and post them on another platform. It's possible I'll just give up. I mean, I'm, I'm unlike most creators in that, like, I don't really care about clout. Even if the TikTok ban bill passes through Congress and is signed by President Biden, there could be other legal challenges. Those in support of the app are arguing the ban could violate First Amendment rights. Virginia Tech Communications professor Mike Horning says even that is a tough argument. You are not crafting a law that says people can't say things on social media. You're crafting a law that says this app is raises a national security risk. The bill does still face challenges within Congress as some senators warn of the risk of alienating young voters. And one final question is what sort of precedent a ban on TikTok could have for future apps created down the line. Reporting, Connor Dietrich, 10 News, working for you.